Hi, I'm E.D. Lewis, and welcome back to my channel, E.D. Lewis Reviews, back with another nocturnal review. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like and that, subscri and that subscribe button, and also that little bell if you haven't done so already, so you'll get notifications on my latest videos like this one here. And please, please, please leave a comment down below, because I, I do love reading those comments if I don't trip over my words. Okay, well... This one is a short story review, and we're going back to uh, Daphne du Maurier. I've already reviewed Rebecca and Jamaica Inn and um, my cousin Rachel. Now we're doing uh, The Birds. The 1952 story The Birds by Daphne du Maurier. Hold on. Sorry about that. I wanted to grab the uh, copy of the story that I own, and this is what I read from which is called Stories of Suspense. This book was actually given to me by um, the lady who runs uh, my local book haunt that I like to go to, and I haven't been in a while, so I'm hoping to go soon. Maybe by the time this video goes up, I'll have gotten to go. Um, <clears throat> so there's a little collection of short stories, and uh, I think the only author that I actually know from this entire collection is Daphne du Maurier and the first story... Oh, no, I do know uh, Ronald Dahl. Sorry about that. And Shirley Jackson. I can't remember if there was one in there of hers. But the first story is The Birds by Daphne du Maurier. So this is the cover. Very freaky, and it definitely pertains to the story. So this story takes place in uh, Cornwall, uh, in a seaside village, and it is suddenly attacked by a kamikaze of birds of gulls and other birds start attacking the countryside and there's this one particular I'm sorry there's a train in the background every time I want to film or I'm filming a train seems to happen every time so there's this particular family So there's this very particular family that the story centers around, and they're the ones that notice the birds acting funny at first, and then it just goes on full on terror, and they barricade themselves in their home, and they listen to the radio, where this seems to be spreading all over England. Now this takes place shortly after World War II, and you know definitely a time of anxiety and stuff, so there's a lot of tensions, and this story is so freaking tense. Um, it was actually quite terrifying, so if you have a fear of birds, you might want to steer clear of this one, or maybe you would like to read it so you, you know, get that spooky vibes. Even if you don't have a fear of birds, this is definitely a kind of, it's a rough and terrifying little story. It's not very long, but still, wow. Uh, this story was, uh, famously adapted, sorry, by Alfred Hitchcock in 1963, 11 years after the story first came out. In his film called The Birds. I'm just going to ignore it, so please bear with me. Uh, which is a movie that I actually cannot watch. I saw it actually when I was in, I think it was my intro to film studies class, which was not my first um, film class that I took. It was actually one of the last ones I took. Um, we watched The Birds, and I had kind of a traumatic experience. There's this one, if you've seen the movie, you probably know the scene I'm talking about. There's this one part in the book where someone's trapped in a room, a very particular character, and the birds are attacking, and she can't get out. I was literally screaming at the screen. Well, maybe not screaming, but I was yelling at the screen. You know, like, oh my god, get out of there, get out of there. You know, it was, it was kind of tense. And uh, I can't watch that movie again. I don't think I can anyway. Because it was, like I said, it was kind of traumatic for me. And I don't have a fear of birds. So, um, which the film doesn't have a lot in common with the, the short story. Except for um, kind of the tensions and the, uh, the attack of the birds. It takes place in California, whereas, of course, the short story takes place in England, and um, I would say that the movie ends on a much more hopeful note than the short story does. I hope that's not much of a spoiler. I'm just going to say that. Now, I guess there was a sequel released direct-to-video in the 90s, 
and I don't know what it was. I don't remember. I, I remember hearing about it, and it's called The Birds something. I can't remember what it was, the, the subtitle of it. Um, but it was, I think it was directed by Rick Rosenthal, who directed Halloween 2, but he doesn't have his name credited as that. He has his name credited as that, uh, it's that pseudonym that a lot of directors like to use when they're ashamed of the work that they've done. I don't remember what that name is either. Uh, I've never seen it. I think it was only released to VHS. I've heard about it. Um, I've heard it's not that good. But, you know, everybody has their own taste. So, you know, I might end up liking it. Who knows? Maybe some of you might end up liking it. Um, so let's get to the rating. I gave this five stars because this was definitely worth it. I loved it. Uh, this the sheer tensity of this story and you know you keep hoping that the birds will not get in the house and and the family will make it through and it just the way it ends you're just like so um definitely read it if you're looking for something spooky to read uh you may check it out um it's definitely got the spooky vibes so um, I'm not sure what my next video will be, but I've got a bunch of videos planned and I've decided to redo my schedule for this month. So I think I'm going to have a little bit more than planned and I think there'll be at least a couple videos maybe that are on a little bit off, off days. So we'll just see. So I hope everybody's enjoying, um, spooky season and enjoying their spooky reads. If you've got any spooky reads that you're, uh, reading currently and you'd like to share them down below, please let me know what they are. I'd love to hear what they are. Are and oh yes before I forget um, there is a reading challenge going on this month that I'm actually taking part in and some of my videos will pertain to that so I'll let you know as they happen and it's the A to Z um, horror reading challenge it's uh, hosted and created by John at Books of Blood so do check out I'll link the video down below in the description so please do check out that video and please join into the A to Z horror uh, challenge. So I hope to see you all back here for my next video and remember to stay safe and stay spooky and happy October everyone. Bye-bye.